I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about an event that's coming up on May 2nd and this is exciting. Um, it's it's a derby day at Talisman Farm and I have Diana and Ann here to tell us a little bit about the event itself and also about what it benefits um, which I think is really I think people need to know what what's going on at this place. So welcome, ladies, and, Thank you. and they're in their derby garb. They wore their hats. Yeah. No, we don't have mint juleps here, but we're <laughs> thanking them. So welcome, and um, tell us a little bit about this event. I think you're gonna. I am the the. Um, we may not have mint juleps today, but we will have <laughs> mint juleps on May second. There we go. Um, that the um, we have a we'll have a rider demonstration this year. It'll be dressage, okay. Um, and then our own riders, our own talisman riders, um, veterans and um, special children that we work oh, with. Oh wow! Um, but the event itself will will have the uh, Mitchell Oops, um dinner, um, live auction, hat contest, silent auction, oh, okay. uh, hors d'oeuvres. It's truly a step back in time. And, as of course, pull, the race, you'll have the race the, on. It'll be broadcast live. And as you pull up the long driveway in front of the uh, on the Talisman Farm, you'll pull up for valet parking. Oh, wow. And then they will escort you out with your hats and through the mansion and then to the back where you will watch the, the, the derby, and I mean the uh, rider demonstration and the derby and have a hors d'oeuvre and sip on a mint julep. Oh, wow. It's a little little bit of Kentucky it, right here. A lot of Kentucky. Yeah, a lot of Kentucky. A lot of Kentucky. Right here in Queen Anne's County. Kentuckians for a day. The beginning of the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm. yes. So, mm -hmm. wonderful. And this event is held at Talisman Farm. And, Anne, tell us a little bit about what goes on there because I, I think it's such a wonderful um, place whatever everything that happens there well thank you Debbie and it is a wonderful place the word talisman itself means something magical or miraculous that happens and truly every day at talisman farm we're experiencing remarkable changes in children as young as three years old wow. in individuals who are as old as 70 our oldest rider is 70 we have over a hundred volunteers that help us we operate seven days a week we have wow. seven horses and in 2015, we'll operate around 2,000 lessons. So yeah. we're working. We're working with children who uh, and adults who have physical, cognitive, social, emotional, or behavioral conditions. And we're using horses as a form of healing. And it truly is remarkable to see the progress that's made. So we might be working with service-disabled veterans, with wounded warriors coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. Um, and working on things like core strength development, or we might be working on balance. Many of them have suffered um, inner ear problems, the result of IED explosions, and so balance is affected. We have individuals who are stroke survivors who come to the farm, and rather than spending time maybe in an occupational therapy right. or physical therapy clinical environment, they're outside. Um, and I would they're doing have never this thought about that. That's incredible. They're doing this work on the back of a horse, and our horses are very, very special. We are a PATH Center. It's the Professional Association of Therapeutic Horsemanship. Uh, and all of our instructors are certified. Um, our therapists are occupational therapists, physical therapists, and speech language pathologists. Um, so we start at 7 in the morning, and we're there till 7 o'clock at night. Wow. Um, and we have a wonderful, wonderful herd of horses that um, are truly therapists in their own right. And you're right in Queenstown? Is we are in Graysonville. Graysonville. Um, Graysonville. And so Talisman Farm is this beautiful waterfront farm located on Eastern Bay. Uh, and it, it's virtually five minutes off of Route 50. Um, we are working with individuals from seven different counties. Um, wow. We have a very robust summer camp program. Uh, we received funding last summer from Autism Speaks as well as the Baltimore Community Foundation. We're hoping for those grants again. Uh, and so it's a very, very busy place, but um, miraculous every moment. That's wonderful. And this event benefits all those programs it you does. just talked about. It, it, you know, Debbie, it's amazing because 60% of our riders don't have the ability to pay for these services. And 80% um, of our riders come from this county. So we look to the community to help support the work right. that we're doing. Um, grants can just get you so far. Uh, and People need this service. They're right. benefiting by the service. So Derby Day is one of our major fundraisers. There will be a silent auction and a live auction. Um, there's a way for everyone to have a wonderful time and to be able to help um, our charity. And I, this is 
totally in a different direction. Do you have other events that happen throughout the year there, um, fundraising events that, you know, that if you want can, to mention them? Mm-hmm. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, we have our annual Harvest, Harvest Moon Ball, okay. uh, which is uh, in October, and uh, that'll be taking place at Prospect Bay Country Club. We also have a new event on September 28th. We have a golf tournament called the Ryder Cup. Oh. Um, and, and, I love it. And that will, that we're looking for people Gee, who you get that name from. <laughs> well, it's R I D E R. And so we're very excited about that new fundraising event. Uh, and then we hope to have a couple of horsey events. Um, okay. So we are looking at a couple of hunter paces that may take place, and that's where the equine community can come out and really support the work that we're doing. So it, it's uh, very exciting. We have a wonderful board of directors, uh, numbers 18 people. We're always looking for wow. additional board members. If, if people would like to be uh, involved, that's one way that they can do it. And of course, volunteerism is really yeah. significant. Nothing you happens at the farm volunteers. without volunteers. So if you're 14 years or older, um, you can come out to the farm and become involved in any number of ways, whether it's uh, fixing fences, picking manure, right. <laughs> or being a hey, it all water. has to get done. It does, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So this is Saturday, May 2nd at 4 o'clock. Reservations are suggested yes, um, because it is limited on yes. how much room you have there. And we have your contact information up on the screen. So if anybody wants more information or to make a reservation, they can contact mm-hmm. you. Um, I thank you so much for coming in because I think this is a wonderful event and it supports a really, really important um, program that's out there that a lot of people might not even know exists in the county. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information on this and other events, go to our website, www.visitqueenanns.com.